In this video, we will go over the search and selection options for MD Anderson's Next Generation Clustered Heat Map. Once you've opened your heat map, you'll find the search bar at the top on the right side of the tools menu. You can search for full names or type in key letters to highlight labels. Once you search for a term, it'll be selected on the detail view. On the summary view, a colored label will appear to show you where each of these are located on the heat map. It will select items in the row and column categories. You can search for multiple terms by separating them with a space. The search box itself will also display either a yellow color when some of your search terms return no match or red when all of your search terms return no match. If your search box remains white, that means all of your search terms have returned a match. You can scroll through the search results using the arrows on the right side of the search bar. You can clear all highlighted terms by clicking the X button. When searching for a specific term, you can use quotation marks to return matches with only that exact spelling. For example, if I search notch without quotation marks, I get every match that has the term notch in it. If I search notch with quotation marks, it will return no matches because the search is looking for an exact match. All of our notch examples are followed by a number, therefore it will return no match. Along with searching for individual labels, you have the ability to select multiple labels at once. In the detail view, you have a few different options for doing this. You can shift left click to highlight multiple labels in a row, or control left click to select individual labels in a group. You can shift left click drag within the summary window to select a row and column group as well. You also have the ability to use the dendrogram columns or rows by clicking on the hierarchy there. With a group selected, operations like linkouts can be performed on those rows, columns, or matrices. Right click on the label name to get the linkout option box to appear. Then left click on which tool you would like to view the selection with. If your heat map has covariates, you can also use the information by left clicking on the covariate you wish to view and then right clicking on the name and selecting copy bar data for selection. You must have a row and column selected to view the covariate information. This will open the covariate information in a new window. For more information about the NGCHM heat map, visit the MD Anderson Bioinformatics website in the link in the description or visit our main YouTube page for more tutorial videos.